postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really It was a warm morning in Greendale, and there were plenty of letters and parcels for Pat to deliver. That's the village just about done. Major Forbes was busy reading his paper. Morning, Major. Morning, Pat. I say, this print gets smaller and smaller. Can't see the half of it. Well, now, Major, I couldn't read a thing without my glasses. It might mean that you need a pair. It's ever so fuzzy and blurred without them. Oh, what a nuisance! I suppose I'll have to pop into Pencaster for an eye test. My aunt Penny sat on her glasses once, smashed them to bits. <laughs> Very painful, what? Cheerio, Major. What would I do without my glasses? And another for Miss Hubbard. Oh, there you are, Pat. That's all the country letters sorted now. All ready for you. It's warming up now outside. Phew, that's better. Oh, nice. Hello, who's that? Ooh. Ooh, Bayek. Ooh. Catch hold of that corner, Pat. It's a bit. Oops. It's a right weight. Ooh. Do Ooh. be careful. Just get it on there. That's it. Push. <coughs> I hope it's nothing that breaks easily. It went down with a bit of a thump. Nay, it's all right, but I'm glad to get it here all in one piece. Oh, Ted, what a monster. I can't be doing with this on my counter all morning. I rang Pencaster Parcel Office and they said they'd pick it up just as soon as possible. Just look at that time. I'd better be off. Where did I put my hat? And where am I... Um, uh, look under there, Pat. Here we go. Don't drop it. Can feel something. Oh, oh, dear me. Oh, Pat, are those your glasses? What's left of them? They're not much use now. How am I going to deliver these letters? I can't see to drive, never mind read the addresses. Now, Pat. Ted can take you home in his lorry, and you can get your spare pair of glasses. What spare pair? Oh, 
hat. Haven't you got a spare pair? No, I've never broken them before. I've had these for years and years. Well, you'll have to borrow some, but... You can try my old ones. They might do. Don't worry, Pat. We can take the letters round in the lorry. I can give you a hand. Well, I certainly won't be able to drive. Here we are. Now, give these a try, Pat. Oh, ta. Um... Mm. Well, it's better than nothing. Just a bit fuzzy. Oh, we'll manage somehow. Here we are. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Bye for now. Oh, dear. Do oh, be dear. careful, Pat. Oh, goodness me. Oh. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Goggins. You can see that he needs looking after. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Whoops. <laughs> Dr. Gilbertson was out doing her shopping. Hmm. <laughs> ah, who's this? Um, hello. Getting hot, isn't it? Um, now then, Dorothy. Uh... I've got lots of letters for you. Hmm. <laughs> um. This looks like one of yours. Here we are. Have a good read. But, but not Dorothy. Oh. Uh. Oh. Are you feeling ill, Pat? I'm sorry, Doctor. It's my glasses. Squashed flat under a parcel. Huh, they don't look squashed to me. These are your letters, Doctor. What on earth is going on? Better be on our way with the letters. was at the church. I think this lot has got all muddled. Tell you what, Pat. We can let the tailgate down. And we'll have a good place to sort them out. I'll just deliver this lot whilst you sort the rest. Uh, are you sure you've got all the Reverend's letters? I'd know them with my eyes shut. Oops! What's this? Good Lord, deliver us! Um, you are Pat, aren't you? Sorry, Pat. I've got the wrong glasses on. I know just how you feel, Reverend. I've got Mrs. Goggins' old glasses on. Did you say...? Yes, but it's a long story. Have some letters. Better be on my way, Reverend. Cheerio. But, Pat! This is for the Reverend, Pat. I think you've got him muddled again. Pat! These are not for me at all. They're a bit fuzzy, but I do believe it says Miss Hubbard on this one. You'll have to excuse him, Reverend. You see, his glasses were squashed flat. They look all right to me. It's a long story, and I think it'll be best if you read out all the addresses for me from now on, Ted. No problem. I wish I could help, but you see, my proper glasses lost them somewhere. It's nice of you to offer to help. Thanks, Reverend. And cheerio. <sighs> I wonder where I've... Off they went. Here we are, Thompson Ground.
There's Alf's catalogue. Now you can't go wrong with that. Alf can't be far away. Anybody in? I wish Alf, ouch, wouldn't leave this for me to fall in. This looks more like it. A nice big letterbox, just the job. Catalog away. Did you find Alf then? Um, he wasn't about. I just popped it in their new letterbox. New letterbox? They haven't got a new letterbox. See for yourself. Show me. Here we are. Didn't I tell you? A new letterbox. An old barn door with a missing plank, more like. Locked up as well. Now then, how are we going to get it back? Hang on, I'll get someone to help us. Let's have a look around. Hmm. If only I could see properly. Ouch! Where does this go? Could get in through the window. Anybody there? Anybody in? Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> what happened? Fat, where are you? Ted. Ooh, it's dark in here. Where's Ted? You all right, Fat? Hello, Ted. Having a nice talk to my band door? Hello, Alf. Nay, nay. I'm talking to Pat. He's inside. Well, how's he got in there? It's all locked up. I don't know if I've got the key. Ted. Uh, let's see. You look a right mess, Pat. Here's your catalogue, Alf. Delivered safe and sound. Oh, Ted and Pat, back at last. I've been ringing round everywhere trying to track you down. There's nothing else gone wrong, has there? Oh, no, Pat. It's just that after you'd gone, I found these. They look awfully like yours. They must have slipped down behind the stamp book. That huge parcel must have given them a push. Magic. I can see again. Oh, that's lovely. They must be mine. Thank you, Mrs. Goggins. Hang on. We saw them all smashed up. No, we didn't. There must have been another pair of glasses on the counter. Whose could they be? Well... The Reverend came in before you this morning, and he must have left his glasses here. He didn't mind about his glasses being broken, said he needed a new pair anyway. Well, I never. I wonder if I need glasses. The post would never have got through without you. Thanks, Ted. Back to the workshop. Cheerio. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye, Ted. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat.